Hey guys, this is going to be my first guide on Wukong Top. I am a Diamond Wukong main, as you can see by my summoner's name, Wukong Top Ease. Uh, this guide is going to be broken down into several topics. Uh, the first topic I'm going to go into is about items. On Wukong Top, you should always want to go Flask first and a couple health pots, you know, a trinket. Uh, because Wukong doesn't really have any sustain in, like, in his kit at all, so... Poking will be a blast with all the mana that you get, and the first back, you're gonna try to get two Dorans if you have enough, but if you're behind, you're just gonna settle for two long swords, depending on your gold income. If you're not sure, like, uh, if you're sure that you can kill your lane opponent right away when you get back to lane, I suggest you just get a pickaxe, and that would be great. And, but, um, shoot, but <laughs> if you're behind, I think you should just get two long swords and then build that into a brutalizer. And then finish your Hydro once you get the chance. But let's say you completely lost lane and it doesn't look like you're going to come back in the game at all. So then you're going to go Hydra, then full tank, possibly. Uh, depends how the game goes. I actually forgot to mention this earlier, but if you're against like if you're against a really tanky person and you don't have the confidence to like really beat them and you're just like really scared to do anything, uh, I suggest you just go full tank. Uh, I mean. You should go tanky, but you should also keep in mind that you need to do a little bit of damage to be a little bit useful, so uh, there you go. And I suggest you take Teleport instead of Ignite if you're against uh, a tank and you can't really kill him. So other than that, uh, I think uh, I would almost always suggest that you go Ignite. Your build almost always is going to have Hydra, Last Whisper, maybe Yomu's if you want to assassinate more than Peel. And if you do want to Peel for your team Black Cleaver, and for boots, it will vary for you. If you want to gank other lanes ASAP, then mobility boots are for you. But if you want to fight smoothly without getting bursted by mages or crowd controlled, uh, Merc Treads are for you. <laughs> and if you're against a full AD team, or they have like a really fed uh, AD person, like an attack damage carry, let's say like the, the enemy Caitlyn is super fed, and you just want to survive, uh, then I suggest Ninja Tabbies. If you just want to move fast and just be consistently fast throughout your game, and you just want to like get a good engage, like you know, you go decoy, you're invisible, and you just want to get a really good engage so you get that speed up uh, with your Swifties. So I suggest you get Swifties if you just want to go fast, just uh, be really mobile around the map, and uh, and uh, it does prevent you from getting slowed that much. So if you're like, if they're against, like, if they have some really good slows, like Lulu, I know she has like a 90% slow, so that's gonna be a hassle. So I suggest you get Swifties. But uh, if and um, and if you're behind and you want to go some tanky items, or your team just needs a tank, so you have to go tank. Uh, I would really suggest that you go Banshee's Veil and Randuins. Though that combo is really good on Wukong just because uh, uh, while you're ulting the, while you, and you pop your Randuins while you're ulting you can stick on them pretty easily and they can't really escape so that's really good and if you if you want to go full damage and you just need a survivability item like for late game uh, I, would I would highly suggest uh, GA uh, Guardian Angel that works really well for him because after you know if, uh, if you get caught or something you could just uh, revive and you could just get away uh, with your W, and uh, for skill order, you're gonna always like nine times out of ten, you will always, always, always max E, uh, and then your Q. But it's it, the gap closer is just really big on your E, and you get that huge boost on attack speed, which is it's just amazing. It can be really good against especially melee champions such as Hecarim or Rek'Sai. And don't forget to uh, try to get level six on your opponent as quickly as possible. Just because you can all in them when they're level five, uh, when they're level five and you're level six, and this way you'll be really, uh, you'll have a lead, and they can't really kill you since you're level uh, six, unless like they're higher health or something. But other than that, then you should always uh, get level six first and try to all in them right when you're right when you get level six, they'll never see it coming, uh, and uh, you know ult them so they, and uh, you'll have a really good advantage. And for lighting phase, I suggest that you play like super, super, super aggro. Like, literally, like E and every time you have a chance. But don't use all your mana because you might get ganked and you might be screwed. But other than that, you should go super uh, aggro and just poke them until they, like, they're super low and then you can all of them pretty easily with your ultimate. Uh, for team fight, I highly suggest that you, like, aim for the backline. Always aim for the backline. Like, 
and uh, try to kill their squishies most of all. Uh, if they have like a really fed TF, as you can see in the video, there's TF right there. Uh, and uh, you could just go for him in the back line. He's pretty squishy, so you could like one shot him if you're full AD. But if you're if you're full tank, you could uh, peel for your AD carry, and your AD carry can take him down if you want. Uh, but the best way uh, is just uh, if you're full tank, peel for your team. But if you're full AD, then aim for the back line. Try not to get caught because it's easy to get caught on Wukong. You could go in super deep with your uh, with your ultimate, and your team is not going to be there. Uh, just uh, we're going to talk about that later on. And the best way to engage on the enemy team or the backline uh, is is to decoy and then you turn invisible so you'd sneak behind them and then you pop your Yomus and then you ult. So, and this way they'll never see it coming, you know, uh, hopefully they don't see you. Uh, you need to make sure you have those that sweeper so they don't see you and you ward the bush that you're going to hop out of. And it doesn't even have to be a bush actually. And uh, just be careful not to go to him and be in a spot where your team... Like, where you're not alone and your team can uh, easily manage and catch up to you and uh, do damage themselves. Because, you know, if you're all by yourself, you're going to get one-shotted by the enemy team. And if you don't one-shot them. Uh, make sure to pop Yomus once you uh, turn invisible. Just so you get that extra movement speed and attack speed after you're done ulting. Uh, and for hard counters, Wukong has a lot of counters. But I found, like, the, the three hardest counters were Lee Sin. Because Lee Sin does counter Wukong pretty hard. He can just kick him away once I uh, once you ultimate. And he does see you when you're decoyed with his E and Q. And uh, the second one is uh, Renekton. Renekton, you will 9 times out of 10 lose lane to Renekton. There is, it's really hard to win a lane against Renekton since he does outscale you a lot. I mean, not late game, but early game. He just, uh, late game, you could just, you know, take a poop on his face or something like that. Uh, he's pretty weak late game, you know. Uh, Renekton is... Pr yeah, he'll lose his uh, damage and everything. Uh, you can... Oh. And another one is Vladimir. So when you're landing against Vladimir, it's kind of hard to like poke him because if you try to E him or ult him, he'll just W and then... You can't really kill him since he's invincible, but he does lose a chunk of health. Uh, I would suggest you try to get, get a gank from, jungler, from a jungler. And this is a Wukong top only guide, by the way, guys. I'm going to make another... Uh, guy later about jungle later so if you guys want to subscribe to my channel uh, I have that coming up and uh, he out damages you and he has really good sustain Vladimir and uh, he could poke you he could out poke you pretty well so that's good and the pool is just ridiculous it's really dumb and uh, but if you're super good with Wukong you should be able to handle them no problem if you have any questions at all about Wukong just leave it in the comment section I will reply and I do have a Wukong game coming up, as you guys heard in the earlier in the video. Uh, so I'll watch out for that. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching my Wukong video. Uh, it's been a blast. And make sure to subscribe if you guys want to check out my Wukong game later. Uh, Wukong jungle game later. And I just really appreciate you guys watching this video. Does It means the world to me. Thanks. See you guys. Peace. Wait, what the heck? No, 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 no. No, hot shot isn't that bad. And he would never overextend like this. Oh, how does he know? What the... Oh, am I gonna kill Hotshot? Oh, can I dive this? I just killed Hotshot, guys. Oh no! I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go um, top lane and try to defend this. Looks like they're gonna push pretty hard. Oh my gosh. Oh snap, I killed Hotshot and freaking a guy. Alright, and shake up.